ya. <coughs> Okey, ah, tak apa. Sekejap. Saya nak tunggu Puan masuk dulu. Okey, Assalamualaikum. Selamat pagi. Uh, Yasmini, Sandra dengan uh, Aliyah ya. Ya. Okey, yes, nanti sir. bila presiden nanti um, buka video lah. Buka kamera lah. Hmm. Okey, tuan. Alright, alright. Dah makan ke belum? Dah sarap oh, dah? Ya. Eh, dah belum? <laughs> Hari ni berdebur satu je. Nanti habis, Trijan habislah berdebur kamu. Nervous. Bagi hilang rasa nervous tu. Okay. Uh, itu dulu kurang buat buat engineer masuk lah. Mungkin dia tengah isi markah untuk grup tadi Sebab grup tadi dia tak apa tunjuk uh, Result daripada survey eh. uh, Jadi bugi lah Okay Puan, selamat datang Puan Okay, uh, boleh kita mula Puan? Okay, uh, okay, uh, atas tiga-tiga ni siapa nak mula dulu? Boleh present slide? Baik. Ha, ah, present slide. Uh, can everyone see the slide? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, very good morning to Madam Nurjuliza and our supervisor, uh, our moderator. Uh, today we are going to present our FYB project, uh, which is Cement Level Point Center Ultrasonic. Uh, I'm Yashwini, metric number two zero seven two, along with my group members, uh, Kishan, metric number two zero six three, and Alia. Metric number 2071. Uh, introduction. Uh, cement is an uh, extremely important construction material. Uh, interestingly, masonry walls are generally stronger when built with thin joints and has a general rule of thumb. We expect to see mortar joints of around 10 mm thickness and even less for thin joint construction. We introduce our product, which is a cement or mortar level point sensor, ultrasonic. With this product, we can calculate or it will show the accurate amount of cement should be layer of, uh, for the brick wall. We propose this idea so we can overcome certain defects in construction. Uh, problem statement. First, uh, reduced in building strength because the extra thickness will generate higher lateral tensile stresses. Second, a joint that is too thick even has the potential to collapse during the working process. Uh, finally, the overall look for, uh, of the brickwork does not compromise and can reduce the strength of the brickwork. Objective, as for the first objective, to design the cement level point sensor ultrasonic for brick laying. For the second objective is to build the cement level point sensor for brick laying purposes. Okay, for the third objective, to test run the product of cement level point sensor with brick wall and prove the accuracy of the tool by testing it with a measuring ruler or measuring tape. Okay, scope of study. This study we focused on a building locations at construction site EPO. This is a tool that reduces the risk of cracking on brick wall. A tool to ensure the time of work progress on brick, brick walls are reduced and a tool where it is used and works as a sensor tool. The material of the tool should be plastic since it will be used in construction site, so we ensure this device is light and portable. 
okay for methodology the flow chart firstly we start and then secondly problem statement objective and scope of study thirdly is literature review fourth is the parts which are in the device of uh, ultrasonic sensor arduino nano board at mega 32p and ultrasonic sensor uh, fifth is identify then we design we construct then the development of project project then test run then the data collection and validation from experts and analysis results conclusion and recommendations and final finish okay for the gun chat uh, the first week we decided the topic second and third week we identify the material fourth and fifth week we design the product six seven and eighth week we construct the product and the ninth week uh, the development of the product tenth week is uh, test run 11th and 12th week we modify and upgrade the product and 13th week uh, is the test run 2 and the 14th week is preparation of presentation 15th week is project presentation and the last week is submit our final project okay programming materials so the first is ultrasonic sensor and arduino nano strip board circuit rocker which dpdt oled light and 9v batteries okay this is the drawing design uh, which is designed by our uh, in our device ultrasonic sensor battery rocker switch arduino and oled display this is how it looks like Okay, uh, this is the picture of sensor installation. Yes, okay. uh, and this is inside look after installation um, before uh, the real making. And as you can see, the extension, uh, its function is to lock uh, a specified size. Okay, next I pass to... Uh, okay, this is... Okay, this one is the final... Uh, the picture is final design drawing before uh, the real making the extension. Okay, next. Uh, okay, uh, uh, this is re uh, result analysis. Uh, based on the analysis and testing, the data shown that this device read the thickness of the mortar bed joint in centimeter. This device is equipped with a 9V battery cell and Arduino Nano and ultrasonic sensor. Through this result analysis, we can achieve our objectives based on flowchart and gun chart that we created. Uh, experimental material, uh, first is clay brick, uh, second trowel and plastering trowel, third is measuring tape, uh, fourth is cement or mortar, uh, fifth is uh, mortar mixing bucket. So this is the picture of we um, uh, testing the um, test making. And this is uh, pictures of uh, we testing with a measuring tape and our sensor device. So uh, now I'm gonna play the video. Okay, uh, this is the data of cement level point sensor. Uh, as for the first reading, uh, our cement, uh, our sensor device showed at 10 mm. For measuring tape, it was 12 mm. Uh, second reading, uh, uh, it was the same, 10 mm, and measuring tape also 10 mm. But for the third reading, it was 10, uh, and the measuring tape was 12. For the final reading, our ultrasonic uh, device showed 10 mm also, but our measuring tape uh, data was 11 mm. Uh, this is the comparison between ultrasonic sensor device and the measuring tape. Uh, ultrasonic uh, sensor device, uh, the accuracy was very good, whereas the measuring tape was just good. Uh, for the sensitivity for our uh, device, it was also good. Uh, for measuring tape, it was not that, that quite uh, sensitive. But uh, for the me uh, measuring uh, measurement time, our uh, sensor device, it was very quick. Uh, measuring uh, tape took a long time. As for the usage, uh, for our device was very handy and easy, whereas measuring tape was quite inconvenient.
okay this chart is about gender between male and female we can see that male is the most highest than female with 35 students for 60.3 percent the few the female is lower than male with 23 students for 39.7 percent okay this pie chart shows about student semester the highest reading is 82.8 percent with 46 students that is from semester 5 followed by semester 3 that is 9 percent with seven students for both semester two and and one uh there are four percent with two students and four point two percent with three students okay from this bar chart we can see that most of the students agreed that this ultrasonic device can be handy and practical for the construction builders with 63.8 percent which is 37 students okay uh from this pie chart we can see that 52 students with 89.5 percent agreed that the ultrasonic sensor device can be replaced with measuring tape next uh, this chart shows how many students agreed that this device can reduce the time of building the brick wall most of the students agreed which are 54 students with 93.1 percent uh, from this chart we can see that how many students think that this device can help to compromise overall the look of uh, of the brickwork with 98.2%, which is 57 students, agreed with the statement above. Okay, uh, the bar chart shown, 15%, uh, which is 28 students, agreed that this tool makes uh, the difference in construction by making the process easier than the uh, traditional method. Next. And the last pie, uh, and the last one is the by chart. Okay, this by chart shows the most numbers of students uh, agreed that this device can be used for the measure uh, range at the construction site with 15.6%, uh, which is 34 students. Okay, next. For the conclusion, uh, there are three major conclusions can be drawn from this project. Firstly, we the uh, Firstly, the developed device exhibits a full working system, the objective to design uh, and to build a uh, ultrasonic. It is also suggested that by using this instrument, it may save the time and the overall load of the brickwork is compromised and can maintain the strength of the brickwork. This device also has a potential to be improved in the future. Uh, for originality, innovation and solution of product. Before the title was produced, we had made a study on the internet that no tool existed or was invented as a brick bond cement measuring tool other than a tape measure tool. This project is not uh, artificial and it's an original creation from our group. The innovation made is the connection at the end of the ultronic sensor device. The connection is determine the thickness. Uh, the research test we conducted using Google Form platform. Uh, this study was conducted to obtain uh, views from the community. As you know, our project is uh, related to construction. So, the respondent of uh, this research, research, we focus on civil engineering department. Due to the pandemic that hit our country, we were not able to do a research by meeting uh, with the civil engineer or specialist in construction uh, to get the analytical data from the study. So, the research that can be done uh, using Google Form questionnaire is only on civil engineering students. Those who are severe in the field of cons uh, of construction, other than civil engineer or construction specialists, are only civil engineers engineering student. So, from the research, the majority of respondents are uh, respond responded uh, positively to this tool. There may uh, be potential for this product to be sold because of the positive response and this product is no longer on the market. But the supply for this market product may not be too high as the demand uh, is low because uh, only certain people use this tool. This product can be, uh, this product can also be purchased by the government for the practical use of students in majoring in civil engineering. Okay, next. For the recommendation, um, Okay, the recommendation uh, that would be helpful to further enhance the project or study conducted in future for beneficial contribution. 
first is upgrade on the coding set in larger units or even longer distances. For example, for uh, from centimeters to meters. The second one is uh, design a software on the mobile phone where you can press the on button to turn on the device wherever you are for replace uh, the switch button on the ultrasonic device. That's all. Thank you. Okay, uh, Puan. Q&A session lah semua. Okay, sebab saya nak tanya ya. Eh. Uh, kenapa pilih uh, tajuk ni dan tools ni? Mm, ini, um, uh, this device can reduce time by measuring. If, if you use measuring tape, it takes more time to measure the thickness of bricks. So we took this idea and created this device so that it can save more time and which is easier for the workers to be carried and handy. It is handy and portable. Okay. Yeah, because the traditional so method is to... Sorry. Okay, tak apa. Teruskan dulu. Uh, sorry, because <laughs> the traditional method is to use a measuring tape, right? So we wanted to overcome the issue. So we created this sensor device. So to uh, very handy and easier to record the data and all that. Okay, you all selalu masuk site tak? Construction site? Ataupun um, masa tengah berat brickworks punya... Uh, ada. Ada. Yeah. Ada masuk? Uh, yang masa kita buat brick work tu kat poli sana. Ni tak eh. Okay, saya nak tanya. Is it dalam construction kita measure satu persatu dia punya thickness tu? No. Uh. No, they don't so measure one by one. But uh, at the end they will measure the meter so we just wanted to, because if the bed joint is too thick, it uh, it can occur. Uh, it can happen. The uh, the cracks can happen in between the cement, the bed joint. So the building could collapse. So we wanted to overcome the defect of the construction. So we created this tool to to take a prevention on uh, checking the thickness before it is built. So we know the quality of the brickwork when it's built. Okay, sebab itulah saya rasa you all kena study dulu sebelum you pilih tajuk eh. Sebab uh, saya rasa uh, tools ni mungkin caranya dalam keedah yang lain. So if, daripada you duk sebab uh, apa ni masih lagi menggunakan orang kata uh, uh, manpower so memang akan ada error lah nanti. So dia memang akan thickness. Kalau tak achieve 10 mm, konon lah you cakap 10 mm. Is it you buka balik, you nak bagi dia sama je achieve tak kan? Maybe you punya tool sebenarnya as satu alat yang bila you letak memang confirm dah 10 mm. So tak payah you nak pergi sukat balik. Oh yang ni 12 mm, ya yang, yang ni nak samakan balik. So saya rasa uh, sebab kalau you masuk construction, kita kita tak ada, kita memang takkan measure. Memang uh, skill worker tu memang kita dah tahu dah. And sebab yang ni saya tak tahu, saya tak nampak pemotarnya apa uh, dia punya azmat uh, dalam tu sebab kita ada dalam untuk brickworks kita letak azmat lagi so memang selalunya kita kita tak adalah measure berapa sebab saya ingat you all nak measure dia punya ketebalan uh, simen render tu itu mungkin lah kot kan tapi bila you cakap you just measure mortar untuk brickworks tu uh, uh, saya rasa Tu cakap mungkin peralatan yang you buat tu sepatutnya dalam keedah yang lain. Ah, so mungkin ada alat you letak simen mortar tu okey ngam terus 10 mm. Yang ni sebab masih lagi you letak lepas tu baru you pergi sukat balik kan. Ah, uh, um, izin saya jawab dalam bahasa. Ah, uh, boleh boleh boleh. Okay. Uh, sebenarnya ah uh, apa tu setiap kali untuk uh, letak bata atas motor tu kan hmm. untuk setiap layer uh, sebelum kiranya letak aja terus uh, measure 
kalau sekiranya dia melebihi daripada um, ukuran tersebut um, You buka balik? Uh, okay. Uh, bukanlah buka <laughs> uh, So you kena rasa yang, kalau balik nak make sure uh, dapatkan uh, uh, Tidak, uh, pada pada pengalaman saya masa belajar uh, di makmal kan uh, Makmal dekat mata uh, mungkin akan ketuk Ketuk butter tu bagi um, Sama hmm. ni lah ha, Macam tu Untuk setiap layer Tapi tak adalah um, Setiap Setiap apa tu Panjang tu akan Measure Kiranya hanya Sekadar menggantikan Macam kalau Yang sebenarnya kan Dia akan letak benang kan hmm. Untuk ukuran Nak nak tahu agak-agak tu dalam 10mm kan uh, So Adanya alat ni tak perlu untuk Ada benang Tak benang di setiap player So macam mana sebab you tak guna uh, Apa ni uh, Saya nak cakap apa tu laser <laughs> so, Orang tarik benang uh, untuk Yelah dia orang tak ada tools yang sebab kita dekat Set sekarang ni ada dua jenis lah So yang memang yang lama akan guna benang lah Sebab dia mungkin tak ada kemo- Mungkin sama ada dia tak Tak su- tak suka Ataupun dia tak diberi pendedahan Ataupun dia tak mampu memilih alat laser tu lah uh, So itu ter- uh, terpulang kepada orang kata uh, Pekerja tu sendirilah So mana dia lebih selesa So kalau tak letak benang saya rasa Alat you pun tak boleh nak pakai kan Sebab you mas- masih lagi nak measure Sepuluh MM tu lah konon 10mm kan So uh, Maksudnya you masih lagi Orang kata Bila letak je tu so Macam Dia punya result tu final tu memang you orang kata bukan dapat 10mm tepat So tu saya cakap mungkin uh, Alat ni mungkin Orang kata Dalam keadaan yang berbeza bukan keadaan yang macam ni Mungkin you cipta satu alat bila you letak motor tu confirm 10mm So memang yang tu you kata okay kita pasti tepat uh, Lepas tu mungkin you nak proof you measure lah Kan guna laser ke uh, yang tu lah yang tu pendapat saya tapi tak salah Yelah you all punya idea macam-macam kan uh, So yang ni kalau untuk improvement untuk next saya rasa uh, Penggunaan alat tu mungkin kurang tepat keedah yang macam ni lah Ha, sebab kita dekat site uh, Terus cakap nanti you pergi masuk kerja kita kat site Nah tak ada masa nak tengok <laughs> Tepat tak tepat 10mm tu ha, Kan oh, So sebab kita akan oh. tengok Sebab ha, kita akan tengok uh, Apa ni Dia punya satu dia punya uh, Apa ni bricks tu Sama ada selari ke tak Lepas tu sebab selalunya kita measure pun satu pakai tarik benang And then selalunya kita apa ni, kalau break is pun kita ada kita punya ni paling kuat pun beam je lah kita punya ukur tu kan so bila sampai tu nanti dia ajah-ajah lah uh, so yang ni uh, ni cuma saya saya just sampaikan pandangan je lah ya uh, so uh. tak apa risau uh, saya just pandangkan untuk next mungkin you all sambung degree ke ni dah sem 5 so ada sem 6 tak? ada sem 6 tak ada? oh 5 je 5 je Oh dah last dah. Dua tahun setengah je. Okay next you nak ni mungkin you im- masih lagi group yang sama. Saya rasa <laughs> kalau nak bawa yang ni improve on cara nak measure tu. Bukan mel- melalui tools yang ni ya. Okay baik. Okay. baik. Terima kasih banyak. Terima kasih Tuan. Okay lah Puan. Terima kasih. Terima kasih semua ahli group. Okay. Terima okay, kasih banyak. Okay. Thank you. Okay bye. Assalamualaikum. Okey puan, a uh, salam. Kita sambung Bye. lagi 10 minit untuk rehat. Okey. Okey okey. Okey. Macam-macam level ni. <laughs> Saya pun tak terfikir, eh dia buat benda ni. Apa benda ni? Macam tak ada poin. Betul lah. Ha, uh, dia lagi satu. Tak tak. Masa saya tengok, ingat macam dia nak measure. Yalah, selalu kita ada masalah on arkitek punya part lah. Bila uh, kita, apa ni, uh, buat apa ni, yang si merenda tu lah. Uh, Memang ketebalan tu kita jaga. Saya ingat yang tu, bila uh, dia tengok tujuk video tadi lah, dia nak ber- measure motor uh, je. Tajuk saya faham lain. 
Okay, tapi bila ha, tu tunjuk lah. alat pergi pada uh, tempat ikat batu tu, ini benda lain ni. <laughs> oh, saya uh, rasa problem dia mungkin dia orang kurang uh, jumpa supervisor lah. Biasanya problem yang ha. macam ni, kita tahu uh, dia kurang jumpa supervisor ataupun mungkin last minute dia orang nak buat lah. Ha, itu saya pandangan saya. Dan daripada yang lepas-lepas pun hmm. macam ni. Tajuk lain, projektif lain, result lain, ha. lain. Saya dengar yang, yang uh, dua semasa lepas, apa benda dia orang present ni tapi saya diam je lah. Uh, rupanya ada lagi juga lagi Sandy. <laughs> Okay, bang, kita lihat. Okay, kita lihat okay, okay, okay. dulu ya. Okay, okay. Masih, bang. Okay.